Dead Proprietor Bar still entertaining doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. After getting 100% and doing a few other videos, I decided to do the go to Guarma as John, doing the whole drunk routine. And, well, first time I tried it, it didn't work out too well. Next time I tried it, it did work beautifully. It's just where you have John standing when he gets drunk. And then it is a very long adventure. Is it worth it? Well, I'll let you know at the end of the video. In order to do this, you should buy yourself plenty of liquor. I bought something like 13 fine brandies and a bottle of guarma rum. I don't even think that was, that was barely, barely close enough for John to finally get drunk and pass out. So you want to have at least a good, good bag load of booze. And now you ride your horse across to this area just above the Manziti Falls or whatever falls it is. And you get your horse going. Like I, I had John juice his horse a little bit before. And now we're getting to a point where it's a bit of a struggle. But we can make it. On the map, it's right here above Manteca Falls, and now you want to position John right here at this area, and just below the um, area you can't climb up, this bush right here. Right here, you want to position John, and you want to start drinking. To check to see where John is. Yep, he is on the ridge and he can start his journey toward Guarma. And you got to go over to this area. You got to run up here and you just got to keep running. Okay, you want to keep running along the cliff face in order to find an area where John can climb. 
And that's all I'm doing is running along this cliff face to find some place where John can climb up, climb up on top of the cliff and not go to Mexico. Okay, I believe I'm at the right area. Yep, looks like it. A little further. Um, I should be able to, it should look very easy where you can climb, and this is it. When you climb up this cliff face and get to the top of the area, and you can keep running. You don't want to fall off the cliff and fall into Mexico. You kind of want to just keep up on this plateau and run. And if you look at the map, you're right here. And it is just a lot of running, but you don't want to fall off the cliff and into Mexico. You do a lot of running to the east and then to the south. I'm checking John's position. And again, you got to do a lot of running east and then eventually head to south. And it's a lot of cocaine gum. I'm glad I picked up a bunch of that along the way and just kept picking up packs of it while I was out adventuring. And I'm, you know, I brought John's um, stamina and health and uh, dead eye to gold, eating wild meat and um, seasoning. Now, John, I've got to start correcting his course. He's headed east far enough. And now i got to start correcting his course to where he starts heading south. Now, I'm going to keep looking at the map from time to time to see if John's course is correct. And, yes, he's now starting to head further south. Again, you don't want to fall off a cliff because... That's going to put you in Mexico. You just want to stay away. You want to keep running and heading east and south. And you should be starting to head south the majority of the time. And again, just don't fall off any cliffs. Eventually, you will get to Guarma. It's a very, very long walk. Lots of stamina and lots and lots of... Um, food to enhance the stamina and some cocaine gum. Yeah, it is a trek. Okay, and I'm going to check the location. Okay, yeah, we are we are at the right point. And this is right here, Guarma. So I'm heading in the right direction. And it looks like I'm running over water, but really this is just poorly rendered, um, how shall I say, uh, terrain. And it's starting to get crappy looking. And you want to eventually, what I'm going to do is take a look here. Yep, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm going to add a marker to Guarma just for the sake of it. And it'll give me a focus to know that I'm heading in the right direction toward Guarma. Okay, I think I'm getting near the edge of the world where... John falls off, dies, and ends up in Guarma.
This looks like Guarma. Let's take a look on the map. And yeah, John is in Guarma. Now, one of the things you don't want to do is cross over into these exclusion zones. And they make it very difficult for you to get close to anything. I mean, it, it just to be honest with you, after I got to Guarma here and played around a little bit, tried to shoot some birds and some animals to try and get better with the compendium because unless you are playing as john and shoot up all kinds of birds and animals yeah you're going to be missing some of them from the compendium and it's not truly 100 percent complete You can save your progress, but to be honest with you, if you reload the game, what's going to happen is John doesn't appear in Guarma anymore. If you die as John and you're in Guarma, you'll respawn in Guarma. But to be honest with you, you're pretty limited in where you can go. Once you cross into the red zones, you activate the sniper. And yeah. You begin to wonder what's going on. Okay, I'm going to check the map here. And yeah, all we're limited to is 
this area. We can't even get over here in this way because we wind up having to cross the exclusion zone. I mean, you're, you're pretty well screwed once you come into Guarma. There's this area, the fort, and yeah, you cross into those red exclusion zone areas, and what happens? You get shot by the sniper. Okay, after getting, running around and getting nothing, no birds, no animals, I come upon the gang's old camp. And yeah, you can rest by the fire. You can't pick anything up. You can just rest by the fire. And you can't even cook. It's just kind of pathetic. It's just sit there and leave. Those are your options. You can't even camp in Guarma because you're not in the wilderness. And if you try and get in the wilderness, well, again, you cross into those red exclusion zones and you get shot. Now, John is fleeing from the soldiers. They're on his tail, and he crosses into this exclusion zone. He's only there briefly. He runs through it. The, plea, the, the soldiers drop off, and then this starts to happen. Essentially, that is what happened when I crossed into the exclusion zone. And even if you get out of it real quick, the sniper starts shooting you. You spawn back into Guarma, and yeah, you start in the same place. You're just so unable to access the rest of the map. It's pretty pointless.
¡Muévete! ¡Movedlo! ¡Muy bien! ¡Disparen! ¡Vamos! ¡Vamos! After a few more times, I reloaded a saved game, and that's when it moves John out of Guarma and onto the main map. Even if you, and anything you did, like kill some animals or some birds or something, and harvested, harvested their pelts and the meat, you still keep it. It's just now you are in the main map area of Red Dead Redemption 2. Again, you save whatever you do, but once you reload a saved game in Guarma, you get bumped back to the main map. So yeah, that's it. I mean, it's very limited in Guarma, and it's not worth going to. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, 
hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I'm doing something different. I'm posting a short and four regular videos a week. Not doing it on the weekend because I just changed the way I do things. And you're just hearing about hearing about it now because I put these videos together uh, months in advance. And it takes me a little time to catch up with how I change and what I do. So, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.